this is the Google Pixel 8 Pro. It has a Google Tensor G3 na processor, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 ang kanyang protection, IP68 ang kanyang rating pero hindi ko sinami na ibabad dito sa swimming pool. Meron din siyang tatlong malupit na triple camera lens dito sa likod. And ang starting price ng Google Pixel 8 Pro is at 48,000 pesos which I'll tell you kung saan nyo pwede mabili a little bit later after this quick intro. So guys, ang Google Pixel 8 Pro na may 12 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage is starting at a 48,000 pesos na price point which I'll be linking on the description box below kung saan nyo pwede siya mabili. Now, pag-usapan na natin ang kanyang design. This phone has the, well, very Googleish design. I love yung kanyang color dito which is a, a little bit more of a baby blue. Ang tawas kanya is bay, no? And yung pagkamat niya dito sa likod is very smooth. Ang sarap hawakan, no? Probably, I haven't really feel this sa uh, ibang phone, but this one is really smooth. And what I like in this kind is, wala siyang fingerprint smudges along the way pag lagi mo siyang hawak. No? So, best dito sa phone na ito is walang case para ma-feel mo yung smoothness ang likod niya. And of course, how can I forget ang kanyang camera bump dito? This is not just your ordinary camera bump. No? So, itong camera bump is parang yung shades ni Cyclops. Buo isang isang bar dito. No? So, kita nyo, buo siya. So, definitely, pag nilagay mo siya sa, sa table, hindi siya mag-wobble. No? Kahit anong gawin mo, hindi siya mag-wobble. No? Wala. Wala. Wala talaga. And another design na gusto ko rin dito sa kanya is yung kanyang loudspeaker dito sa ilalim. Hindi siya limang butas, no? but it is a isang buong bar na butas, no? which looks kind of cool for me. And the grip is definitely nice. And I like the yung bezel niya. No? Quite slim, but not the slimmest that I've seen on a smartphone. And of course, it's symmetrical. So here in the Philippines, na try ko Globe and Smart. Gumana naman ang kanyang 4G, except that hindi kayang makasagap the 5G. Yun lang probably one of the restrictions if you buy the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Now, moving on sa kanyang benchmark, I know that this one has the Google Tensor na G3. Probably it's not the best chip out there in the market kasi, of course, mas optimize sa mga Snapdragon series na, and of course, yung mga Vigitech na 9 series. This one is just okay. I believe ng Google Tensor is made for yung camera performance ng phone na ito. Not really geared towards the gaming category, but more of the camera performance. And of course, Pixel 8 Pro gives you that really nice na Android 14 na vanilla feel dito. It's really nice and wala siyang bloatwares. Now, natanggap naman siya ng na 1.1 million points dito sa Antitude Benchmark. And if you break it down, ito naman mga score na makikita mo. Ito naman sa 3D Mark na Wildlife Extreme. It was able to get a 2,388 na kanyang best loop score and a stability of 85%. Not really looking nice dito sa kanyang thermal throttling test. Kita mo, maraming pulang linya, no? And it throttled to 50. 3% ng kanyang maximum performance. Now, this is the score na nakuha niya sa Geekbench CPU benchmarking and ito naman sa GPU benchmarking. Now, itong phone na ito has a battery size na 5,050 mAh which I think medyo weird yung number. Normally, you'll see 5,000 or 5,000 but this one is 50-50. This one can support up to 30 watts na fast charging and 23 watts na wireless charging. Now, after using this phone for more than a month, dinala ko to on all of my trips during the uh, vacation break. What I can say dito sa Pixel 8 Pro is mabilis mag-drain ng battery. Si Google Pixel 7 Pro, medyo power hungry din siya. Uh, what I did dito sa phone na ito, uh, before I go to sleep during my trip, iniwa ko lang tong phone na ito on airplane mode. Ito na nakapagtaka, no? When I wake wake up in the morning, halos nakabawas siya ng mga 9 to 10% ng aking battery which is consistently like that for the past few weeks na gamit ko siya which I, I'm not sure, no? Hopefully na ma-optimize si Google sooner yung kanyang software, no? To make it more power efficient for users like you and me. But nakakuha naman siya ng 14 hours and 10 minutes na battery screen on time dito sa PC Mark and this one was rated at 60Hz of screen refresh rate and 50% na brightness. Now, ang display nitong phone na ito is a 6.67 inch na LTPO na OLED display with 120Hz of screen refresh rate and a maximum brightness of 2,400 nits. It's being protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 sa harap and Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 sa likod and side aluminum frames. Now, one of the good things in dito sa kanya is okay din ang kanyang always on display dito and it's always there pag gusto mo lang tingnan yung oras. 
So if you're the type of person na mahilig sa social media, you'd expect really good display dito sa phone na ito. And what I can say dito sa phone na ito while on the trip and I'm be using this phone as my main daily driver, it was able to give me a really nice experience on outdoors. Kahit maliwanag ang araw sa labas, I was able to browse through all of my social media dito and it's really nice. Nakapag-display naman siya na maayos dito sa phone na ito. And browsing all of shores is definitely nice dahil mabilis naman siya mag-scroll. And of course, if you're watching your favorite videos dito, pwede pwede ka manood ng HD content dito dahil sa kanyang wideband level 1 na security level. And of course, lahat naman ang napanood ko dito is really nice and punchy and ang color reproduction is definitely good as expected from a Google Pixel 8 phone. Now, itong phone na ito has stereo speaker, isa sa ilalim, and yung isa ang nandito sa earpiece, pakinggan lang natin kung gano'ng kalakas. Yung kanyang sound is definitely one of the loudest na napakinggan ko on a flagship level phone. Now, one of the things na siguro medyo malilito ka dito is that ang kanyang power button is lagi na sa taas and ang kanyang volume rocker is sa ilalim. Malilito ka talaga if you're a non-pixel user and you really need to get a hang of it kasi yung placement ng aking daliri is nandito sa volume rocker. No? Kaya lagi ako nagkakamali when I'm pressing this one. Pinagbabaligtad ko pa rin siya lagi kasi saray ako na nasa babaw ang volume rocker and nasa ilalim ang kanyang power button. Now, pag-usapan natin a bit about the gaming performance dito sa phone na ito. I played two games dito, Call of Duty Mobile and of course, ang Farlight 84. These are the maximum graphical settings na pwede mo iset dito sa dalawang game na ito. Sa Call of Duty Mobile, ang gameplay is definitely good. Smooth naman siya all throughout and I've been playing BR matches and of course, mga ranked matches dito sa kanya. Pansin ko naman, pag medyo nagkakagulo na on a certain point, I was expecting na medyo maglalag siya ng konti on the highest graphical settings sa kaya niya. But to my surprise, ah, wala mo na feel na frame that's dito along the way and it was really giving me a good and nice experience no? as long as maganda yung internet connection I don't think there's much of a problem dito sa kanya then moving on to Farlight 84 this game sinagad din natin ng graphical settings and to my surprise very minimal ang kind of frame drops halos uh, very negligible naman na feel ko dito sa phone na ito and what's nice din dito sa kanya after playing mga 4 straight na BR matches dito sa kanya it is still performing and wala ka dalaga masyado mafeel na frame drops dito and nung chinek ko sa aking mild C na thermal scanner dito, ang pinaka-hottest point na na-achieve natin is around 48 degrees Celsius and dito banda ang init niya. Normally, mapapansin mo sa ibang phones na pinapakita sa inyo, ang init normally na sa camera module but this one, somewhere nandito. Now, of course, the highlight of this phone is ang kanyang camera module ang kanyang Cyclops na camera module. And it starts off with a 50MP na main camera sensor with OIS and ang kanyang telephoto lens is a 48MP na may OIS and 5 times optical zoom. Then we move on to the other lens which is a 48MP na ultra-wide lens which na may kasama ang PDAF. Now, ang kanyang front-facing camera is a 10.5MP na front-facing shooter and both front and back can record you up to 4K and 60fps. So since nilala ko tong camera to together with me to Boracay, there's a lot of photos na gusto ko i-share sa inyo. But of course, due to limited time dito sa YouTube, I would rather share it and post it sa aking Facebook page. Lahat ng mga photos na nakuha ko dito na maganda. So do follow me on my Facebook page at Gadget Psyche para makita niyo all the other photos na hindi ko na-share dito. So let's start off with some outdoor shot. You'll see yung mga beach shot like this one. Ang ganda, ang linaw. You'll see the blue sky is really nice. And the photo is really sharp. There's nothing really much I can say about it except maganda talaga mga shots na ito. So if you check the beach dito, you'll really see some really nice and captivating shots. And I'm really amazed with some of the photos na nakuha natin dito. No? And napasyal tayo sa Dalin, Boracay. And some of these shots are really nice. No? There's some simple shots lang but it's really meaningful. Makita mo, yung details niya is so rich and yung kanyang background blur is so nice. Ang ganda ng kanyang subject and background separation niya. Sobrang ganda na ito. Check in some nature shots like this. You'd see, no? Yung tinay natin i-hide some of the fronts sa dahon. Then, finocus natin sa likod. It's not the clearest photo na nakuha ko. But kung hindi mo siya zinom, it's really nice. Now, check in some top of the building shots like this one. Makita mo yung sky, yung cloud niya is sobrang rich ang and details, it's really nice. And you'll see yung pool and yung mga puno dito. Ang ganda, no? Yung mga kanyang uh, color, it's very natural. And by the way, guys, this one is a ultra-wide shot. Then let's focus into a normal shot. This is a 2 times zoom shot. And this is a 5 times zoom shot. 
So if you focus it, taking a look dito, you'll see mga nakahiga dito. Very, very detailed talaga. No? Kitang kita, very, very sharp pa rin ang photo after 5 times zoom. So in-offer ako ng Pixel 8 Pro to remove people in the background. Try lang natin, no? Ito yung AI naman ni Google Pixel. Ayan, sinasabi niya, pwede natin erase yung highlighted. Okay, so yan, na-delete na niya. So you can done. Okay, so kita mo yung photo, wala na yung tao nandito kanina. No? So, yeah, na-cover up. It's really nice and I'm really satisfied with it. Now, taking the camera into indoor shot, you'll see some of the uh, really nice shot na nakuha natin do, dito sa lobby. And it really looks nice, uh, yung kanyang setup dito. Then we also have some low light shot dito sa loob ng CR, which I think uh, ang ganda ng picture lang na ito. Nakita ko lang and chinute ko. And this is really a low light shot. No? So it was able to perform. Now, this is what I call a good food shot no? you see no ang ganda ng picture na ito why I believe na yung picture na ito is taken under very low light situation and it was able to give me this really nice shot so if you focus it kita mo yung mga cherries yung mga ham na dito is really nice another shot is this one kita mo no yung mga uh, pagka focus na dito sa gitna yung pizza really nice details uh, as compared sa mga phones like Oppo Reno 11 11 Pro now taking you further for low light photography this is how it looks like Makita mo yung ganda ng ilaw. What's nice din dito kay Pixel, it's almost the same kay iPhone. Pag kinol mo siya, you'll see yung live view na photo niya dito. No? So you can choose kung anong shot gusto mong piliin. And strolling on the mall sa nung gabi, you'd see some really nice shot like this. Total darkness, ito lang mga ilaw nakikita natin. And the shot is really nice and very sharp ang pagkakuha niya dito no? sa mga ilaw. It's really nice. Uh, sharing you more photos sa aking Facebook page. Do check me out on at Gadget Sidekick. And this one, is probably one of the nicest shot na nakuha ko sa gabi. No? So, kita natin dito. Nakailaw yung mga puno sa poolside. It's really nice. And of course, how can I forget a sunset shot dito? This is how it looks like. Medyo red yung sky. No? So, it was siguro lucky lang na nakuha natin itong shot na ito. Now, of course, looking at the selfie camera, ganda ng mga photos sa na nakuha nun dito on outdoor shot. It's really nice. All of this shot, makita mo ang ganda ng pagkakuha dalaga dito sa akin. Now, bouncing into low light photography like this one is at the airplane. You see, okay din mga pagkuha niya na may magkunting shadow effect which looks really nice. This is another indoor shot na makita mo ang ganda ng uh, subject and background separation. And I was able to take in a night photography din using the selfie camera which is not really that nice. Now, tingnan naman natin ang video using the front-facing camera. I would say, ang ganda ng ganda ng video recording capability. It's really stable. Smooth na smooth ang video recording ko dito using the front-facing camera on outdoor. Another outdoor shot. You see, this is uh, inikot ko ang buong beachfront. So, this is how it looks like when you're against the light. Now, ito naman, when I'm walking towards the infinity pool, this is the, a, one of the breathtaking videos na nakuha ko dito under 4K and 60 FPS. It's really nice and stable. Makita mo, the color production is really, really nice. This is another one na nakuha kong shot. Just panning around, giving you a very breathtaking shot using the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Now guys, would Gadget Sidekick recommend to phone na ito, si Google Pixel 8 Pro? Now, there's of course some cons that I need to let you know is that wala siyang 5G, hindi na kaya dito makasagal ng 5G. Ang kanyang battery is, well, not the best that I've tried. Medyo malakas siya mag-drain ng battery which I think is a little bit power hungry but, but medyo nag-improve naman siya over from the Google Pixel 7 Pro but still, medyo power hungry siya and ang kanyang charging speed is not the fastest for any flagship phones out there at 30 watts. But of course, on the upside, ang kanyang camera performance is definitely one of the best that I've tried to end 2023 and to start 2024. This is the Google Pixel 8 Pro. If you guys want to check more photos coming off from my Google Pixel 8 Pro, I'll be posting sa aking Facebook page. Just check me out on Gadget Sidekick. And of course, kung gusto nyo bumili ito phone na ito, I'll be linking on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends and a subscription to this channel would definitely be awesome. And I'll see you on the next one. And so, I'm Sir Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.